What's up guys, Matt back here with Phoenix Flippers. I wanted to go over my shoe storage area. This is just in my closet. As you can see, I have some empty rows down here and here, but it's just a normal shoe rack. But I'll show you like all the different shoes that I've got here. Keeps going up to about there. And then I have a bunch on this back side over here as well. Down here, I've got a bunch of Dansko shoes. I bought a lot of Dansko, so they're down there. And it just keeps coming up. Got some Jordan, some different shoes, some boots back there. And yes, this is a unfinished closet that I've been working on. I just haven't had it time to get it done. And then this is where I keep like, so all of these ones right here, I have pictures of, and I'm working on getting them all listed. These ones right here, I'm missing laces. So I just need to get laces for those. I believe those are fake Jordans. So I'm not even going to list them. And then these ones down here have all been cleaned. I just don't have pictures of them yet. So I kind of uh, store them down here. Once I get pictures of them, I move them up here and kind of flop them like that. Once I get them all listed, they go over here. And that's kind of my storage area where I keep my shoes right now. I have, like I said, I have plenty of storage over here and on the back side too. I also have two more of these racks if I need to... Uh, bust into those. I'm going to go ahead and take you in the other room and show you guys the shoes that I purchased uh, today as well as the rest of them that I got this week. Okay you guys so here are some of the shoes that I picked up this week. Um, some of them I'll put comps up so you guys can see kind of what they're going for. This Merrill shoe I need a, I haven't cleaned any of these yet but uh, it surprisingly went pretty high. Um, then I got another little pair of Merrill's some Skecher Shape Ups which I picked them up just because they're kind of a interesting design of a shape up they don't go for that much but they were they were pretty cheap uh, i got some kids justin boots some nike hyper dunks um reebok i think they're zig tech i think is the boom nailed it yeah zig tech again i have to clean all of these and i got some brooks another pair of brooks another pair of brooks some echo golf shoes and then um, a couple Nike pair of shoes sorry my kids are in the other room fighting if you heard that so and then my wonderful wife has went through and cleaned some shoes while I was working on some other stuff just a pair of Nikes some Merrells uh, some Justin boots some Echoes and then some Vans I paid him to call me wonderful not true at all so <laughs> and then guys this is these are the shoes that I picked up today all of those right there there's 17 pair um so i'm going to kind of go over all four of these ones here are, are all Saucony or Saucony, however you want to say it they were all fairly cheap these ones are like the all-terrain running ones um, again just need to clean them up so most of them look i mean pretty pretty decent tread on all of them so the things that i look for when i'm looking at the shoes is the tread of course I make sure right here that there aren't any holes or anything like that. I try to make sure that they have the original insoles like that and just make sure, you know, obviously that there aren't any holes or anything like that around the shoes or anything like that. So picked up uh, some Doc Martens. These ones are weird because they don't have the normal sole of a Doc Martin, but I mean, you can clearly see right there. Sorry, I got it upside down. It is a Doc Martin sole, but it's not one that uh, I've seen before. Kind of a weird one. So, anyways, I grabbed those. Thought it was interesting. Got some uh, Innovate shoes. They are also all terrain. You can see I haven't cleaned any of these yet. I just I literally just picked them up today. But Innovate, if you find them at a decent price, they're a good shoe to pick up as well. Uh, let me come over to this other side here. <clears throat> Picked up some FootJoy golf shoes. Those are always pretty, well, look them up because some of them go better than others. But I got some Brooks. These ones are in very good condition. You can see I just need to clean them up. But, I mean, you can see the, the outside of them. Oops, if I don't drop them here. Very, very clean shoe. They look really good. I got another pair of Brooks here as well. Brooks are a good running shoe. Um, I like to pick them up when I when I can get them at a decent price. Got some Youth Keen sandals. Um, 
Keen does pretty well for me, and even the youth sizes I seem to sell okay. Found these little uh, shoes. I thought they were pretty cute. They are Merrill, little hiking boots for um, an infant. The Select Grip, whatever. Pretty cool. Uh, this is another pair of Merrill shoes. Um, I don't remember the names of these, but again, if, if they sell really well, I'll throw comps up so you guys can see. I bought these ones because they sold like a lot higher than I thought. At least I think it was those ones. And then I had, we'll move on to the Nikes. Sorry, you probably just saw some of my mess here. So I picked up this pair of Nike Zoom, uh, mainly because the bottom of them was pretty cool looking and they were fairly cheap. So I got, and actually, I just noticed it has a hole right there. If I would have seen that in the store, I would have passed on these. Um, but I've, I've already got them, so I'm just gonna have to try to get rid of them with it. They'll have to just go for less. So I picked up these. These are actually Nike, like some sort of a baseball cleat or something. Um, kind of an interesting shoe. They're really big, they're really heavy, but they're in pretty good condition. They just need to be cleaned up. So I picked those up. These ones, guys, I need your help with. So these are Nike Air Force Ones, but the tag, if I can show you the tag, it's like completely rubbed off so normally then all nike shoes have like a code that you can punch in to find them so i can't read the code on either one of these but you can see they have kind of like a i don't know like a dinosaur scale on the back half there so if you guys know what these are or have any idea of what they are i would really appreciate you letting me know they're they're in pretty i mean the tread is pretty pretty dirty but overall they're in pretty good condition considering they're going to be an older nike i'm sure but so i grabbed those and then picked up this pair of nikes because they literally look like they're brand new never worn pretty amazing condition i mean you can see the bottoms it's like no dirt anywhere our goodwill is always right on them you can see the red right there so i'll have to get that off but other than that they're in really really good condition so Pick those up, and then the, the shoe that I think uh, I'll do the best on are these. They are Jordans. I'll put comps up so that you guys can see. Uh, pretty just basic shoe. I mean, it does have a little scuff right there and another little one right there. So a few little scuffs, but, I mean, the bottoms look pretty good. I just need to clean them all up. But the comps on this, like when I saw these, I was like, eh, they're kind of priced high. I'll look them up, but the comps were really high as you can see um because i posted some there so anyways guys i picked up those 17 pair of shoes all of those right there today and my um, cost was nine dollars per pair of shoe on average so pretty high considering normally i like to stay right around the five dollar mark most of these ones over here um i got at the five dollar mark there were a few that were over that but then a few that were under that so like I said, all of those, most of those were under, uh, on my average was right around five bucks, but these ones over here was nine today. But I have several pair, this one, the Air Force Ones, the Jordans, um, the Merrells, I think will all sell pretty good, maybe even the Doc Martens. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys what I look for when I am looking at shoes. I mean, like I said, I, I paid up on some of these. I spent a total of like 150 bucks today at Goodwill, but nine bucks per pair isn't bad. Once I get these all cleaned up and ready to go, I'll easily make that back. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you do, and uh, we will catch you guys on the next one.